In this episode, I tell you of a case of a Florida man who was charged with first degree murder for murdering his mom because she got on his nerves. Welcome, lambs. Welcome, everyone, to Love and Murder, the Florida Man Edition. If you're new here, my name is Kai, and I want to remind everyone that this episode and all my episodes are sponsored by my lambs and Patreon, patreon.com forward slash love and murder. If you want to be a supporter of lamb, become an exclusive lamb, then head on over there and sign up. Let's get into this Florida Man Friday. 21-year-old pre-med student Emmanuel Espinosa, who went to the University of Florida, had no history of mental health issues, no history of substance abuse. He was known actually as an introvert and being a quiet person who had no problems. Nobody had any beef with him. He didn't do anything. He just went to school, did what he, did what he was supposed to do, and moved on. His mother, Elvira Espinoza, was 46 years old, and she was a second grade teacher at Ben Hill Griffin Elementary School in Polk County. She was described as being supportive and being an encouraging mother, and people said she was, quote, always full of life and, quote, the perfect mom. The statement about the perfect mom was a quote by her daughter, Maricel Longo, in remembering her mother. So what happened was on April 6, 2024, Emmanuel was coming from his college in Gainesville, Florida, and heading to a family event for his grandfather when he asked his mom if he could stay at her house for the weekend because where he's coming from is like a two-hour drive. So he asked, hey, we're going to this thing for Abuelo. Can I stay at your house? So, of course, his mom being the perfect mom, as his sister said. She said yes. Elvira was not just the mother of Emmanuel and Marisol. She also had a third child. She had been supporting Emmanuel by sending him money, which allowed him to be able to focus on his studies, which, like I said, is pre-med, which, as you know, is a very, very stressful degree. So she's sending him money so he doesn't have to work. So he was able to live comfortably and just focus on his studies. Everyone says the relationship between Emmanuel and his mother was an quote, eight out of 10. And even Emmanuel said that he had a really good bond with his mom. So on the way to his mother's house, when he got out the car, he put on headphones and he was playing this song by Jay-Z and Kanye West called quote, no church in the wild. And then he walked to the door. Now, you can see on surveillance camera on their ring doorbell that he's hiding a knife behind his back when he goes to the door. First thing he tried to do was open the door, but the door was locked. So right after he tried to open the door, that's when his mom opens the door. And, you know, she's greeting him. Ah, mijo, you're here. I'm so happy. Whatever. I'm not saying that's what she was saying. But as soon as she opened the door, expecting to hug her son, Emmanuel, quote, charged in and started stabbing her. And he stabbed her 70 times. You can hear on the ring camera her screaming, Manny, Manny, Manny. But he didn't say anything. And he just kept stabbing her until she fell. Quote, he knew where to stab her for maximum effects because of his biology classes. As she tried to get up off the floor, he stabbed her some more. He said he noticed her hands were still moving, so he stabbed her some more. And then as he was standing at the kitchen sink, washing himself off and the knife, he wanted to ask his mother for some Neosporin for the cut on his hand, but he noticed she was dead. Now, that last part is like, this is why I'm wondering, did he have a mental break? Did something happen? Like he cut his hand and he went to turn around and ask, hey, mom, can you get some medicine? Oh, I just, I don't, I I don't understand. I don't understand. So anyways... Those pictures, I don't think I have the video, and even if I did, I don't know if I want to share the video, but either way, the pictures, the stills, I will have in our Patreon. I'll think about sharing the video. If I do share it, it's in the Patreon also. Patreon.com forward slash love and murder. So after he realized that his mom was dead, that's when he called 911, and he confessed to the 911 operator saying, quote, I killed someone. I went in the door and I stabbed my mom. So when police arrived there, he told them the same thing. And he later told them that he had wanted to kill his mother for years because she, quote, got on his nerves. 
even though he said they got along fine. This is what he wanted to do. Like, sir, are you crazy? I have an episode talking about how this mother sold her child or was at least trying to sell her child. Your mom is supporting you in college. In college, She's a teacher. Do you know how much teachers make? And she's supporting your butt in college and she has two other kids and she, quote, got on your nerves so you thought about killing her for years. There's a mother who went to jail for trying to sell her child. Your mom raised you, loved you, an eight out of 10 relationship, but she got on your nerves. Did you ever stop to think, sir, that you got on her nerves? Did you ever stop to think that throughout all 21 years of your life? Did you ever think that you got on her nerves? Because as a mother myself, I'm going to let you know that you did. I'm going to let you know that you did. Have you ever heard of the terrible twos? I bet you people haven't heard of the horrible fives. Bet you didn't know of the fight between five and teenage. And then once you get to be a teenager and you think you know everything, and even though I'm so many years older than you and have gone through everything before, you know so much more than me and you want to butt heads with me. You ever heard of those years? Did your mother ever once say she wanted to kill you or gave you any indication that she wanted, she wanted to kill you? But because she was getting, quote, on your nerves, You wanted to kill her for many years, you despicable piece of trash. Really? So, of course, he was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and taken to Polk County Jail. He was also charged with tampering with evidence because he cleaned the knife that was used in the murder. So, anyway, he had a bond that was for destroying or tampering with evidence that was set for $5,000. However, they didn't give him a bond for the first-degree murder. So currently he is still in the Polk County Jail. Documents that were filed with the 10th Judicial Circuit Court state that it was the state's intent to pursue the highest penalty in this case. A representative from the state's attorney office said that they're trying to make the decision of whether they will seek the death penalty or what they're going to do with this. So that is the case of some dude who killed his mom because she, quote, got on his freaking nerves like he was the best son ever and never got on anybody else's nerves. What do y'all think about this episode? And this actually is kind of an example of a previous episode. So I had a previous episode where I put out a poll asking, should people who confess to a violent crime and turn themselves in receive a reduced sentence as part of a plea deal? And... That was actually a poll for another Florida Man episode. It was the episode of Alexander Roki, who drove to the police station with his girlfriend's body in the car. And I'll have the link to that in the show notes below. Anyway, some of the lambs did respond yes, to which I did respond that there are some people who are so cold-blooded out there that will murder, go in, confess to the crime, get a reduced sentence, come out, murder, go in, confess to the crime, get a reduced sentence, come out, murder, etc. rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So with this guy, you know, he confessed to the crime. Should he get a reduced sentence because he confessed to the crime? He killed his mother in cold blood for no reason except that she got on his nerves. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think, I think it's through extenuating circumstances, maybe. And also if the family agrees, I think you have to really take that into consideration. If the family agrees, then yeah, you could go with what the family family agrees with. But I don't think people who commit a violent crime just because they said, hey, I committed this crime. There's the body right there in my car that they should receive a reduced sentence just like this. Emmanuel killing his mom. I can't get over this. That's why I keep repeating it. Killing his mom because she got on his stank little nerves. Nerve of some people like, oh, my God. Like, I just want to backhand this mother. And that is the episode that I have for you today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I don't have a poll question for this because it actually tied back into the last poll question. So I don't have a poll question for this episode, but I do want to hear your comments. And this week we were supposed to be sharing the episode. I can't remember where I told you to share it, honestly. (laughs) So let's just say share this episode with everyone you know and everyone you don't. That's all I have for you in this Florida Man Friday, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.